To sew the zipper, first we have to remove this sewing. To remove the sewing, simply go to this edit sewing tool and I'm going to click one on this sewing, press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. I will do the same right here. And now I'm going to simulate. Press on the spacebar to simulate and then click it once again to stop. Next, I'm going to kind of tilt the skirt toward me a little bit and then zoom in and then pan it down. Okay, now I'm going to use the zipper tool here in the 3D toolbar. Click on it to select. Then I'm going to click one right there to start. And how about the mask down here? So close to the zipper notch but not touch the zipper notch, okay? And then click on twice to end. And we'll do the same right here. Click one to start. And then click on twice to end. After that, I want to simulate one more time. Press on the space bar. And press it again to stop. So it has a little space between the notches and the zipper. That is perfect. Next, we want to change the zipper size as well as the zipper puller. To do so, I will go to the select slash smooth tool, click on it to select, then click one on the zipper. After that, I will come to this property editor and scroll down until I see teach width. I'm going to type in 0.1, then press on the tab key, and then type in right here, total width. I will type in 0.3, and then press on the tab key. After that, I will come over here and click on the simulation icon to simulate. Okay, and then click it on once again to stop. And I'm going to zoom in a little further here. And I want to click on the zipper puller. Then come to the property editor. I want to change the slider to this one right here. And then scroll back up. I want to change the puller to this one right here. Then after that, I want to change the stopper to close end and top to smallest one. Then we also want to change the bottom to the smallest one as well. After that, I want to change the material. So instead of matte, I will change that to plastic, okay? Then I'm going to press on the space bar once again to simulate and press it once again to stop the simulation and click one on the page to deselect. Next, we want to change the zipper's color. Simply click one on that zipper. Come over here to this property editor and then scroll down until I see color. Click on that and use this eyedropper tool guy. It's super useful. Click on it to select then click one right here. And then I'm going to press on the escape key right here to get out the eyedropper tool. And then I'm going to click on apply. Okay. Then I'm going to move this window over here to the left. So I can see it one more time here in this property editor. So Right now, I only change the teeth of the zipper. We also want to change the tape color. So simply click on that tape right there and then scroll down, click on the color, simply use this eyedropper tool, click on the skirt and then click on the escape on the keyboard to get out the eyedropper tool. Then click on apply. Okay, next we also want to change the color of the slider. Simply click on that and then come to the property editor and then click on that color chip there. And then I'm going to use the eyedropper tool once again and then click one on the skirt. This time, I want to slide this color up one a little bit lighter and then I'm going to click on apply and close this time. Then I'm going to click one on the page to this like. So we want to have this zipper invisible. To do that, first I want to change the particle distance of the skirt. Come over here to this transform pattern tool. My key selects all the pattern pieces. Then come over here to this property editor. I want to change the particle distance to 10. Then press on return into on the keyboard to confirm. After that, I'm going to my key selects all the pattern pieces. Right click and select strengthen, okay? Then I'm going to press on the space bar here. And then press it once again to stop the simulation. After that, I'm going to my key selects all the pattern pieces, right click and select unstrengthen. Next, we want to add thickness to the pattern as well as the waistband. I will my key selects all these pattern pieces except the facing. And then come over here and I want to change this add thickness rendering to two, okay? Then press on return into on the keyboard to confirm. 
And after that, I'm going to my key, select all the pattern pieces, right click, select strengthen. And I'm going to press on the space bar here to simulate. And I'm going to come over here and then click on this thickness fabric texture to see the effect. After that, I will unstrengthen this grid. Simply my key selects all the pattern pieces, right click, and then select unstrengthen. I click one on the page to deselect. So there you go, guys. As you can see right here, now the invisible zipper is invisible.